What's good, everybody? N.W. Piper. Hey, Merry Christmas Eve this morning as I'm filming this, and it is freezing here on the Oregon coast. Mm. Christmas. So tonight, as you guys know, I pastor a church here on the Oregon coast, and I was just pondering through our Christmas Eve service tonight about about the story of Christmas and how amazing it is. Um, and I don't know where everybody's at that watches this, whether you guys believe in God or what you think about Christmas, but it's kind of always good to understand what Christmas is about either way. And I was thinking about in the Gospel of John, when he starts out the account of Jesus coming into the world, he says that in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. And that that, that Word became flesh, and that's what Christmas is about. When the Word of God became flesh, you know... Um, for Christians, when we think about God, or anybody else for that matter, you really don't know what God is like unless he clothed himself in flesh and moved into our neighborhood. We don't know what the heart of God is necessarily. We don't know his character, um, his nature, any of that stuff apart from Jesus Christ, because what we see in Jesus is uh, an exact representation of God the Father. So, if you ever want to know what God is like, you look at Jesus. Compassionate, forgiving, loving, selfless, sacrificing. It goes on and on and on and on and on. He's the light in the darkness, John says. And, um, you know, we've got a pretty cool church building. It's a 1930s movie theater. And I remember when we first took it over, um, I'd be down there studying until like 1130 at night. And being that it's so old, it's also very creepy. I mean... I would like, I would go in there and uh, all the lights were on upstairs that I had to turn off and I would have to turn off the lights. And then I'm telling you what, when all those lights went out, uh, it got so scary and freaky in there. I know it sounds kind of weird to talk about a church like that, but, but I was so scared when I turn off those lights, man. And it's a two story building. I would run to the back door. Um, after I just finished up on a message or something because the darkness was just so creepy. And what John is saying in the Gospel of John is that Jesus casts out that darkness. In other words, whenever Jesus shows up, darkness has got to get kicked out. Whether it's the darkness of hopelessness or depression um, anxiety, any of those things, when Jesus shows up, darkness has got to go out. And that's what Christmas is about, that there's a light into the world that's been given to us. And um, we have a hope. We have a living hope. You know, it's that name that the angel gave to Mary. He, he shall be called Jesus. His name will be Jesus because he's going to save his people from his sins. not he's going to save his people from uh, whoever the next president is or sickness or he's going to save his people from an economic collapse or save his people from all this war and garbage in the world that's going on but he's going to save his people from his sins 
And that was a promise that we were given. And in order for God to save us from our sins, and I was thinking about this this morning, he had to meet us where we're at. Before we cleaned up, before we figured it out, before we got our act together, before we put down the bottle, before we put down the dope, before we um, stopped checking out things on the internet, whatever the case may be, the Lord showed up, loved us, and has forgiven us. And that's the message of Christmas. We have a hope. He's a promise keeper and uh, a promise maker. And whatever you got going on in your life today, you have the hope of Christmas too. God bless you guys. Look forward to seeing all your yabos for Christmas. But remember the greatest present is Christ. Blessings.